all our dear tele viewers and subscribers of Deped R Teleturan. I am Joanna Marie G. Balbin, Junior High School Science Teacher from the Ansarile Integrated School, your teacher presenter for today's episode. And for today, we're going to talk about mechanism of plate movements. And at the end of the lesson, you are expected to A. Enumerate the driving and resisting forces of plate movement. B. Discuss mantle convection and the various mechanisms proposed to explain plate movement. And realize the importance of the creation of convection current underneath the earth. What makes massive plates move? Tectonic plate movements are driven by different forces. How do plates move? According to the continental drift theory, the plates of the crust continually move although the speed at which they do is infinitesima. How huge crustal plates could possibly move are influenced by two types of forces, driving forces and resisting forces. Let's talk about driving forces. Driving forces either push tectonic plates toward each other or pull them apart. Let's have mantle convection. Heat in the core rises toward the mantle increasing its kinetic energy and causing it to expand and spread out beneath the plates. Convection currents drives the plates away from each other. Heat energy dissipates in a circular motion because of the difference in temperature between the mantle and the layer above it. Convection currents drive the plates away from each other. Take a look at this simulation. To understand, Imagine a pot of water on a hot stove. The water at the bottom of the pot near the heat source becomes hot and expands, making it lighter or less dense than the water above. The hot, low-density water rises and cooler, denser water sinks and flows in from the sides. This water then gets heated and rises, and the cycle continues. This creates a circular pattern of rising and sinking water called a convection cell. Let us have the second driving force, a slab pull. It takes place when a subducting slab sinks into the hot mantle because of the difference in the temperature. The rest of the plate to which the slab is attached to is being pulled as well. Let us have the third, a slab suction. It occurs between two colliding plates, of which is subducting underneath the other plate whereby convection currents in the upper mantle suck both plates. Ridge push. Ridge push happens when the lithosphere is pushed up by the asthenosphere because of convection currents from the mantle. Gravity pushes the plate down the ridge and a new crust is formed. Let us now proceed to the different resisting forces on tectonic plates. Resisting forces. It directly resists all the driving forces associated with plate tectonics. Let's have the first resisting force, slab resistance. When plates collide at the plate boundary in a subduction zone, the force will resist movement. Let's have the second one, collisional resistance. It occurs where a heavy plate is pulled into the mantle but resists subduction because of friction. This force opposes the slab pull. Transform fault resistance. Sometimes, the spreading center along a ridge is broken by several kilometers. So as you can see in this animation, it is a transform boundary. When this happens, the broken plates slide each other and form a transform fault. Since the movement is opposite, the plates encounter frictional resistance in the contact zones. Then let us have the last resisting forces, drag force. The drag force operates on almost all parts of a moving lithospheric plate. The mechanism of plate movement made it clear around 1965 that continental drift was feasible and the theory of plate tectonics, which was defined in a series of papers between 1965 and 1967, was born with all its extraordinary explanatory and predictive power. The theory revolutionized earth sciences, explaining a diverse range of geological phenomena and their implication in other studies such as paleogeography and paleobiology. Thank you for your active participation. I hope you learned a lot. This has been Joanna Marie G. Balbin of the Ansarile Integrated School. See you again next time. Goodbye!